Yeah, I mean, I mean, for sure. So I'll, I'll respond to it and then we got to shift back to Jesus. But and it's very interesting timing. And I'll say that because today with my kid, we were talking. She brought up the concept of angels and the vision of them, whether they look like the way they're depicted at Christmas time or whether they are kind of the, as you said, kind of a scary, spooky looking like floating eyeball type thing. Uh, so just very interesting. We've never talked about it. We talked about it tonight. So it's interesting you brought that up. And then we talked about exactly what you're talking about. And the best way that I could explain it to her, like like the whole explain it to me like I'm five, is that we we live in this reality. And then we got to get back to Jesus. But we live in this reality where, where we cannot understand or conceive anything that we have not experienced. We experience things using our senses. We smell, taste, hear, see. That's how, that's all you can. I cannot say, Katie, explain something to me that you have never experienced. You're not capable of doing it. That's not how the human brain works. You can't. I can, I can recite, recite what I've heard about it. Like I can recite. Sure, but it's, it's still based on something. Yeah. It's still based on something. I don't, I've done it a million times with a million people. It all comes back to something they have experienced. There, you, it's not the human brain. I mean, if you talk to a neuroscientist, they will tell you that's not possible. You can't do it. That's not how the brain works. You can make new things up, no doubt, but they're all rooted and based in something you have experienced in some way or another. It does it, it in my opinion, and a literal scientist, it doesn't matter. So you can't do it. In the same way, we believe that there is a spiritual realm. The spiritual realm mm -hmm. can experience us because they have. They've seen us, they've heard us, they've interacted with us, but we cannot experience them. Because we never have. We cannot set, we can't see them. We can't imagine them. We can't picture it. And in my opinion, this is why we have the depiction of God as this goofy guy up in the clouds with the beard, because there's no other way to explain it. It's like, well, who is God? What is God? What does it look like? What? Is, how? What? Because you can't. So the spiritual realm is an entirely different world. Here we can, if you explain to me what Africa looks like, I've never been there, I've never seen it, tasted it, heard it, smelt it, but you could explain it to me because everything there is within this reality and, and we, can, we can picture it. I can picture it. But in the spiritual realm, it would be, there's, who's to say there's words, that there is vision, that there's sights, that there's smells. Why would you assume those things exist? It's a completely different reality that we, we've never seen, heard, smelled anything. So there's no way to picture it. There's no way to conceive it. It's it's that separate. That's why this whole like thing where Christians try to even the thing you said like trying to picture Jesus. Yeah, I agree. It's probably nothing like what it was. But even more so, to try to picture God the Father is just a total waste of your time. There's there's no way to possibly conceive of that because it is a different realm under different rules if there even are any. But it's a, it's a it's different reality. And in no way has any relation to this earth whatsoever. So us humans who inhabit this earth and this earth only, I don't see how we would ever conceive it in any way whatsoever.